Hey, good morning. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Morning Coffee, part of Provoking Safety, the channel where we think, talk, and do safety with the intention of provoking safety at home and in the workplace. Happy Thursday. I hope you're having a good day. You're making it over the hump. Thursday's kind of like the new Friday, isn't it? Well, yeah, at least that's what I'm told. I hope everything's well. It's not really any day of any kind of significance here. So you know what? We might as well just jump right into the article. So let's have a look at it. You're reading the article right. Ontario has sort of kind of got a, a Christmas present here. They're getting 98 new health and safety inspectors. As the author calls it, a hiring spree. Wow. It's the largest complement of frontline investigators in provincial history. They say that to date, they've received 7,500 COVID-19 related health and safety complaints since the start of the pandemic. Well, that's not a surprise at all. I gotta say that's really doesn't surprise me and I don't think it comes as news to anybody, but yeah, well, whatever. They conducted 19,400 COVID related uh, inspections and investigations across the province and issued 16,000, over 16,000 orders. A lot of this doesn't surprise me and it shouldn't surprise anybody. And, and I imagine the poor officers that were working were putting in a lot of overtime, missing time with their families and everything. So likely these uh, 98 new health and safety inspectors are a welcome hire. Uh, the funny thing is, this last year, the it says the 89,000 uh, health and safety field visits and they issued almost uh, 130,000 orders and really not quite a bit for considering the size of Ontario. We'll scroll down a little further here. You, you can have a look. I'll leave the a link to the article below. In 2019, the Auditor General's report found that just 1% of the workplaces across the province were being proactively inspected to ensure compliance. No surprise. Really and truthfully, when it gets right down to it, I, I've witnessed a lot of employers in uh, all across British Columbia, and I see lots of it even when you're downtown or anywhere in Calgary, you, you do see it quite a bit. And especially I find with the residential roofing group, uh, the guys that did my house were exemplary, wearing fall protection, cleaned up, excellent. Uh, no pain roofing, I think was his name. So there you go, there's a plug for him. But a uh, really good job, but I don't see that a lot. And you know what? Quite a bit of it is likely due, in fact, to the fact that we have a shortage of OHS officers. So i got to ask you, Jason Kenny, are you going to follow in line and do what they did? It was bad enough that last January you repealed some of the uh, actual legislation and reduced the amount of health and safety committees that are needed. Maybe you could step up and hire, I don't know, half a dozen more inspectors? Just a thought. Yeah, I'm just going to think about that one uh, and and believe you me I'm not getting political or anything else here uh, my whole thing is I want to provoke safety I want to see more health and safety uh, inspections taking place I want to see more health and safety enforcement I hate it when I read about workers getting hurt workers dying it, it doesn't matter the cause of the accident it's all terrible and it shouldn't happen my attitude is every accident is preventable and they occur because of either a lack of planning or a lack of awareness. And just like things like no hazard assessments. I know I keep harping on it. And no, I'm not sorry. Anyway, hey folks, if you like the content, do me a favor. Just uh, like throw me a like over here. Just click the like button. They're actually down. Oh, whoops, sorry. They're, uh, I'll get it right here. They're down here. But I'm pointing over here because I'm going to click the like button thing here. Um, and if you are new to the channel, you haven't subscribed yet, do me a favor, subscribe. Just click that subscribe button and, and ding the bell and you'll get notified of new content. Uh, I'm going to be bringing out a video a little later on this week, hopefully, if everything works out right, uh, regarding safety culture and what to look at in measuring it. So stay tuned for that. And of course, I look forward to bringing you uh, morning coffee on Friday. Anyway, I've, uh, as usual, got more coffee to drink. Take care. Oh, I forgot it yesterday, too. Somebody reminded me. Think safety, talk safety, do safety with the intention of provoking safety at home and in the workplace. Bye for now.